Today I want to talk about something very important when manifesting anything that for some reason I don't address enough but just because I don't that doesn't mean it's not important so <laughs> it's about how to let go how to allow your manifestation to unfold to the thing to come to you let's say okay let's jump in one of the mistakes that I see all over again and um, maybe you're also you're also doing this is the following having this sensation that if you stop doing processes if you stop imagining it or if you forget about your desire you have this feeling that it's not gonna manifest and this was the case also with somebody that i had a session yesterday and i got an aha moment talking to this person right so my love hear me out you already manifested it <laughs> You just cannot see it because you're telling yourself you cannot see it. Let me explain. So my love creation is finished. Infinity implies that all things have to exist here and now. Infinity cannot be things are getting created as you go along. Do you get me? So you're basically not even manifesting anything. You're, you chose it in the very moment you desired it. So you already claimed you are with your SP, even if you don't realize this. Let me ex explain even better, of course. <laughs> so, my love, in the moment you realize that you want something, you desire your SP, you claimed it because you made a statement, I want this person, not the other one, not John, I want Matt, yeah? <laughs> I don't know. You know what I mean? So, in that very moment, you manifested it. <laughs> what keeps it away from you is... This feeling that you have, that you have to do something to bring it about. You get stuck in uh, manifestation techniques. And this can be solved with a little, very little shift, a mind shift. When I tell you to go from manifesting it into its unfolding, this is what I mean. If you know anything about the love assumption, if you understand it correctly, you know that the most important thing when manifesting anything is the place you dwell in consciousness meaning what are you aware to be happening that's happening okay so when you say i'm manifesting my sp you're implying that this is not a done deal it's not here and don't get me wrong so all things are here all things are done creation is finished but we can give ourselves the experience of keeping them out of reach and this is what we all do all the time <laughs> We like drama as hell. So actively manifesting something keeps it away from you, actually. This is what I mean. And again, how do you solve this issue, let's say? Well, by placing yourself mentally on it's already happening. It's already unfolding. And I know that when I use this term, it's already unfolding, it creates a bit of confusion because some of you understand it this way. But if it's now, how can it be happening? Well, it, <laughs> my love, by English, it, it's not perfect. And you can see it's not my first language by any means. Yeah. But I think we have the same meanings to everything. When I say it's unfolding, I, I, I say it's happening right now. Let me give an example of what I actually mean. Okay. So let's say that you have a swimming pool and it's dirty because all winter you did not take care of it. Okay. So it's muddy. You cannot see what's on the bottom of the swimming pool. And now let's say it's springtime and you want to drain out all that water so you can clean your swimming pool. You're not aware of the things that are on the bottom. You cannot see them because your pool is cloudy. So as you drain your swimming pool, yeah, things that are on the bottom, they start appearing. Yeah, Let's say you have some toys there or I don't know what you lost in your swimming pool. But as you drain it, you start seeing shapes, right? Now, this is the unfolding, my love. This is what I mean. Like, it's revealing itself in front of your eyes. Every little choice, every little decision that you, you're making in your day-to-day -day life, it, it's contributing to this. It's the draining of the swimming pool, if you want. Now, let's give you an example here with a specific person. Let's say that you don't have a specific person. You want to meet somebody. Now, think of... When you make this switch mentally from I'm manifesting someone to 
I'm already on the timeline where it's happening, it's unfolding, this is how it would look like. So every little thing you do during your day, every little decision like washing your uh, hair or not, going by bus to work or by car, uh, dressing in red and not in blue, all this little stuff are contributing to the final reveal. This is how I'm, I am, and you can also, be very relaxed in front of everything that ha happens in front of you, all the circumstances, because you know that everything is contributing to the final reveal, even when it lo looks like the contrary. This is what we call movement, if you want, in the Law of Assumption community. So things like you're manifesting your SP, and then after a week they come and tell you they're dating somebody else. Now this dating somebody else is also part of your unfolding, but you freak out and you stop there. Oh my God, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, but how can this be possible? And you get stuck there and you try to find the reasons why you manifested this. And now them with the third party becomes your end instead of being part of your bridge of incidences. <laughs> oh my God. I'm sorry for how I explain things sometimes. This is, this is what we have, girl. I'm sorry. So this is what I mean by make anything mean it's part of the unfolding and don't freak out because 3D has no authority to show you something you did not ask for. But yeah, the manifestation is always going to take the path of least resistance and sometimes circumstances may appear, appear only to be the opposite. This is when you go by faith and not by sight. This is when faith is super important. Because if you don't stop there, uh, whatever shows as the opposite will have to dissolve. Because everything needs you in order to stay alive in your reality. And when you starve something of your attention, that thing has no other way but disappear out of your reality. Do you get me? Where you place your focus is mega important, my love. And sometimes 3D is so compelling, it's so tempting and so in our faces <laughs> that we have a hard time, you know, placing our focus on what we want instead of whatever is in front of our eyes. Your focus creates your reality because, okay, let's explain this from a more scientific standpoint here. My love, at the base of your skull, you have something that's called the reticular activating system. This is a very small portion of your spine and it's located right before your spine enters your skull. And it has three functions. And one of these functions is to filter out everything that doesn't go along with your beliefs, with what you believe to be true. This is the reason why we cannot see things that are already here. <laughs> Because of our assumptions, my love. So let me explain. Yesterday I saw somebody in my comments that her case was she recently broke up with her SP and then this SP started dating somebody else. And her assumption it was like, maybe I'm not supposed to manifest this person. Okay, then I think after two hours, she comes and leaves another comment there. And she says, you know, I saw another creator that said, if it's meant to be, it will be. So I don't know how to live in the end. This is very confusing. Do you see what this person assumes and why she only saw that, that part? Why, why she resonated with uh, if it's meant to be? Because she already had the, the assumption of maybe I'm not supposed to manifest this person. Do you understand how the reticular activating system works? This filter, my love, is very important because we are being bombarded with a lot of information during our awakened life. And if we did not have a filter to filter out the things that are ir irrelevant for us, we would go mad. This is also why you keep on seeing those angel numbers. <laughs> you associate a meaning to whatever number, that number means something to you, so that's why you keep on seeing it everywhere. This is no different from let's say more, let's give another example here. 
when you want to buy yourself a new car. You're going to notice that all of a sudden, you, that brand of a car is going to start appearing everywhere. Looks like now everyone is driving that car. <laughs> but no matter if that car was already there because creation is finished. But you switched your awareness on it. You placed your attention on it. That's why you see more of that car. This is how you, this is how 3D algorithm, if you want, works. Because it's like an algorithm. Whatever you pay attention to, you're going to get more of. Okay? And sometimes we, I don't know, girl, if you say, yeah, I was living in my hand and all of a sudden my SP is date, dating somebody else. Girl, I don't know why that happens. And don't waste your time trying to figure out how you created that. Because, again, the most important thing with manifestation is where you spend your time in consciousness. So the more you dwell on there's a third party trying to figure out how you created this, the less time you spend in your fulfilled desire because you cannot be in two places at the same time. Or you pay, or you pay attention to your um, SP dating somebody else or you pay attention to the reality that you actually want for you and him or her to be together. And again, back to actively manifesting something and letting go. So my love, letting go is so much more important than anything that you're doing right now. Don't be afraid to, if you forget about your desire, don't be afraid that if you stop doing your techniques, you ain't gonna manifest it. On the contrary, <laughs> did you notice that maybe you, you thought once or twice about something and then it showed up? Yeah, because you're not standing in your own way. You let it go. You're allowing it to find you, if you want. Letting go is not about giving up your desire. Letting go is this little switch that I'm telling you about. Go from I'm manifesting it to it's already done here and it's happening now. Let go of the processes. Let go of, the, of all these things that you're, you think you're doing to get it. And by the way, you know I'm not a fan of manifestation techniques because of this, because people use them wrong. People think that people are chanting things to the 3D girl. Look at what you're really doing when you're chanting all these affirmations about your SP. Like SP adores me, loves me, is obsessed with me. You're chanting something at a shadow because your SP is a shadow. <laughs> chanting things to the 3D my love, it's a waste of time. It's about you. Manifestation is not about changing what's outside there. It's about selecting who you are from now on. This is why I, I don't like, for example, these robotic affirmations. In my case, they only drove me more obsessed with my desire. The more I affirmed for SP or money, the more I wanted it, the more I was aware that I don't have it. If you do any manifestation techniques, don't do them to change the outside. Do them to change you, to change your perspective of what's happening. Because the moment you change your perspective on the same circumstance, then you're going to start seeing that circumstance and experiencing it differently. And in turn, your circumstances are also going to change, literally. But you see what it takes here? It takes a radical change of mind. Like, you cannot keep on labeling the absence as bad and get what you want. <laughs> I talked about this in yesterday's video. Go watch it. You can keep on looking at your bank account and have the same idea about what's happening. Like, seeing your bank account the same way if you want something to change. Circumstances will not change when you decide to manifest something different. Circumstances will be the same, but you'll have to change your way of looking at them for the circumstances in turn to actually start changing. There's no delay in 3D. There's only delay on you <laughs> looking at your circumstances from your desired end. <laughs> The, the tree doesn't have to catch up with anything, with the Kardashians, what the, you know what I mean? So let's make a recap here really fast. My love, instead of focusing on all these processes you're doing, instead of telling yourself you're manifesting, because that places you mentally in a process, and if you're in a process, that means 
you don't have it because you cannot be in a process of having it and having it. Make sense? So instead of doing all that, make this little mind shift and go in. It's already done, unfolding, happening right now as I breathe, as I speak. This is how you let go by allowing it to happen because now if you switched in, it's happening, you're letting it go. <laughs> you're letting go of the things that you think you have to do in order to manifest your desire. This is the only thing you have to let go of, by the way. I hope this message was clear. I'm trying my best, girl. My really, really best here, okay? So letting go is actually only this. I'm allowing it to happen. I did my job. I did everything that I had to do. I selected my desire. I decided I am it. Now I let it unfold. Now I let it happen by making this little mental switch. And you're going to see also the following happening. The moment you say it's unfolding, you're going to switch your perspective. You ain't going to see your desire the same way, that which you want to manifest the same way. You ain't going to feel like it's out of reach now. You're going to feel that you're standing on it. Make a conscious choice to see your world from this end. Because it's already here. This is the end, my love. I'm living in the end. That means I'm already standing on it. I'm going to see everything differently. I gave you an example yesterday with my other app, the page I have on the other app, when I was telling you how I went from 200 views to a lot more and how I had to change my perspective on what was happening for the change to act actually happen. So make a conscious choice to see your whole reality from your desire, okay? Because it's happening right now, and the only thing that was keeping you away from seeing it was your assumption. Because when you assume it's not happening, you're manifesting it, you cannot see it. You imply it's not here. So how can you see it? <laughs> Girl, I'm sorry, it, this, this is a circle. I'm moving here in circles because there's no other way I can explain this better, okay? And I think, my love, this video is going to end here because I feel like I have nothing else left to say thank you for being here by the way and talk to you soon bye bye